Hi, this is Holly Higby Jansen, and I teach the Lightroom Quick Start class and the iPhone photography class for the BPSOP community. I've been a photographer my whole life, and I teach workshops for Jansen Photo Expeditions. Today I'm going to talk to you about the new addition to the iPhone Photos app with the upgrade to iOS 10. First of all, if you click on the Photos app, you'll see that the Albums view has nice large icons, much bigger, more easier to see than we had before. You also They're also broken up by uh, favorites, which they've always had, uh, people, which is new, uh, places and so there's different ways that that the iPhone now breaks up all your all of your pictures for organization it does it automatically so for example if you would like to uh, go specifically to find a, a picture with somebody in particular that you want to see uh, you can click on people and you can click on this is my husband so of course I have a lot of pictures of my husband in here and it will automatically create a little video with all of those pictures that are in your in your album. Now this one notice doesn't have a name so I'm going to add the name. See the mark at the very top that says add name? So I'm going to put in mark. Okay, so that's done. So now that album is called mark. So notice the there's 90 pictures there of Mark. There's one more feature in the people section I'd like to show you. So if you go to your albums and click on people, it shows all the people that you've had that you've used in your pictures. Um, the ones at the top are your favorites. The ones below are ones that it's not identifying. Uh, so I noticed that there are uh, other pictures of my husband that it's not identifying. So if I go to this one here, uh, I notice that uh, he's in a lot of different pictures. So if I select the top mark image that has 90 pictures and the one below it that has 10 pictures, I can actually merge those files together. So it's recognizing that now do you want to merge the selected people? I would say yes. Uh, I also see that there's some more down here. If I again click Mark and click these two collections, those are also Mark. I merge those together. So now I have 126 pictures of my husband. Then if I go down here and I see, um, I see my sister, uh, there are one, two, three pictures. There's actually a picture of her when she was a kid. So I can add all of those together merge those files together and now we have 13 images of my sister and then I can actually add the name and add the name at the top and now she should become she should become a favorite so I'll favorite this person and that's that's another great feature of our uh, of the people section in the iPhone photography in the iPhone photos app. Now I can also look at my pictures by places. So if I click on places, I can select um, when I went to go visit my sister in Iowa. So I click on the map and it shows Iowa. Uh, then I can show Cedar Rapids and you'll notice that it comes up with automatically has created a little video about my trip to Cedar Rapids. So if I click on the little arrow there and it shows randomly creates these great videos of what we did in Cedar Rapids. So if I turn this off um, I can also go in and um, so it's showing actually showing the places, showing related videos that were some others that were done in the same city, maybe on the same day in another year, shows nearby photos. 
but then I can also uh, I can also take this video and I can edit it. So if I click on this uh, little edit bar on the lower right hand corner, it'll ask you to add it to memories so that it's becoming a memory that you want to save. And then I can go and change the title of it. So if I click on title, it gives you the option to have a different style of writing. So I'll put Cedar Rapids. Uh, different music. So it gives you a whole selection of, of music that you can choose from that's uh, not copywritten. And then you can also use your own music from your, your own music library. But just be careful of any copyrights when you use that. If you go down to photos and videos, then you can actually select videos or take videos out of here, videos and photos, or you can actually uh, add another, add photos to that particular movie. So I think that's a really fun, so if you click done, uh, then you have the ability to uh, change the music style. So happy, uplifting, epic, club music, extreme. So uh, I think that's that's a great feature. You can also upload, uh, save this particular video, upload it to your mail, your message to Facebook. Um, so it, that's got a lot of great features on that memory feature. Uh, it will randomly... Um, put in video as well as photos and create a very um, a very nice quality image. The other thing that you can do is you can create a collection of images just that you've taken on one particular day. So uh, we just came back from our Big Sur workshop and I may want to collect, put a collection together of pictures that I've taken in Big Sur. So if I click on one picture and I scroll down, shows where the pictures were taken. You can also click on nearby photos and then click on show photos from this day. So then it will give me a whole collection of images uh, that I shot on that particular day. Um, so this is showing the location where it was, where it was shot show nearby photos, shows along the coast highway where they were taken, and then uh, related images. So that's, that's a really nice feature. Um, the other thing that you can do with this, which is kind of fun, is if you go to the magnifying glass up at the top and I put in beach, it comes up with images that were taken on the beach. Okay, or if maybe I want to put in hat and it'll show pictures, people in hats. So this is a really smart algorithm um, that, that I would really encourage you to use.